Hey everybody, this is Tommy over at Munt's Family Homestead. We are now entering the official chili challenge with, from Sherry at Southern Roots. We're gonna take you along today, what we do, what we don't do, what you can do, what you might wanna do. So hey, stick around. This is just Tommy's recipe of some great chili. Give you a list of ingredients right quick. Two cans of chili beans, a little pinch of Slappy Mama, and we have a uh, store here in our area that makes their own spices. So I grabbed some lemon pepper and I grabbed some, gra blah, blah, grabbed some season it. I'm gonna use fresh tomatoes from the garden. I'm gonna use a little paprika. I'm gonna use a little chili powder and a little bit of red pepper. Now. Everybody does not like hot chili, so here's my recipe. All right, guys, we're gonna use one pound of ground beef. Now, this is actually two pounds. My wife is gonna use half of this to put in her taco soup. And yes, she's gonna make taco soup, and it is delicious, too. But we're gonna use, also, I'm gonna cut up one um, smoked, smoked sausage link that we get from our local uh, store here. Uh, there's a outside source that he uses, which are uh, grass-fed, and we, we really like that. Also grass-fed ground beef. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take one pound, put it in this skillet here, and I'm gonna fry that up. And let me, let me change positions, hang on just a minute. All right, I'm gonna ease this stuff right over here. Outs the way, so I won't catch fire on something. That'd be great for my wife's kitchen now, wouldn't it? All right, let's turn this on about medium high. I'm just gonna break this off, kind of right in the middle. Well, I got that's a long eye, Tommy. <laughs> that was good. I'm gonna stick this back in the fridge. All right, now I will season the meat just a little bit. Like I said, we're gonna go step by step, but I'm not gonna take you through the whole step, but almost everything. Now I will put just a little bit of lemon pepper in my meat while I'm cooking, about like that. Then I will use a little bit of salt and just a little pepper, about like that. Let's go on up a little bit so we can get this meat going. All right, let me get this drained off here. Let me cook the rest of the way and uh, I'm gonna come right back. All right, let's get our ground beef strained here. And what I'm gonna go ahead and do is, I'm gonna go ahead and put this straight in the crock pot. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> Just gonna get that put in there. All right. Got that done. I'm gonna go ahead and take the top, stick it back on there. Just put it on medium heat for right now. Then we're gonna take this butcher block, imitation butcher block. Let me get that set up and we'll slice that up. Ready? Just gonna cut that in the middle like that. But what I usually do is, is I'll just take and split this right down the middle. All the way down. Like that. I'm gonna just cut him in half again. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to actually put a little bit of not really bark, but I'm gonna put a little bit of heat to this. On the stove. In the pot. Not in the pot, in the skillet. <laughs> I was gonna do this outside and cook it over the the uh, burner I've got out there, but that didn't work because it's raining. So let's take our skillet, and I'm just gonna leave the grease in there from the uh, from the hamburger meat, which that's not cross contamination. That's not. Just gonna stick this in there, get a little. Yep. Like to dump it out the floor. This is not going very well, y'all for the most part anyway. 
we're just gonna take them, like I said, put this in here. If you get the camera right, Tommy, that sure would help. Bad when you forget about an onion. I will take and half this onion, pull the outside off. I'll take and half it, and I'll cut it up with a knife first. Uh, I don't like small chunks of onion, but there's, I, I like a little onion taste, but there are some people that, you know, that don't like onion that much, so I'll, 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 I'll be kind of sparing me on the onion. All right, we got our summer sauces done. We're gonna take that out. Well, this does have a little spice to it. You can see uh, some of the red pepper flakes in there, but it is it is not really hot, and that's what that's what I like. I, I like a little 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 dainty little. I like a little something on your tongue that goes tingle, but I don't like it. Smoke coming out of my ears. Over here. Let's get it set up right here. And then we'll watch kind of the rest of the process. Let's go out a bit. Oops, let turn the camera over. All right. Two cans of chili beans. I will leave the liquid in them. One and a two. Why do people do that? <laughs> All right. Homemade tomato soup. Oh man. Gotta smell this. Hang on. Ooh, good gracious, y'all. Down in the sink, and let's get our summer sausage. It's not summer sausage, really. It's just summer sausage is a, is a whole bit different length. Ooh, boy! All right, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna put a little bit. And, and y'all, I don't measure. I like. I, I just don't measure. I, I like what I like. <laughs> We're gonna put. You take the seal off there, Tommy. It'll work a lot better. Duh, 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 duh. If y'all don't know that one all the way across the stove over there. Now, I will come back and season to taste. You know, I will take it out. But I don't like to use a lot of seasoning. Let's go ahead and put a dash of paprika in it. Just to cover the top. And then we're gonna go ahead and put a little chili powder. Like yay. Just to cover. Give it a little zing there. And I will go ahead and add just a little chili flake, not much. Like I said, I don't, I don't want the, the older people at church to have any complications with that. All right, we'll leave those out. Let's get our spoon. We're gonna stir that up right there. No, I haven't forgot about the onion. It's over there. We're just going to cut it up. Okay. All right. We're going to pop this dude up on high, and we're going to let her, let her roll. <laughs> Y'all ever watch Lucy and seen that one? Mm -hmm. All right. Tinkerbell, you are. <laughs> All right. I just took the uh, skin off the onion. I'm going to take cut these outsides off. Like that, then I'm gonna slice it right down the middle. One more take. Woo! Take this out. I'll, I use the out, don't use the outside. But, okay. And we'll take, let's move that one over there. 
a lot of gay. Now I'm actually cooking my wife's hamburger meat for her uh, taco soup tonight too. Get out of the way right there. Go right over here. Yep, see there. Browning right up. And let's take the top off of there. Take our onions and slide those boogers in there. Hey, where are you going? Come back here. That's the reason my wife doesn't let me cook in her kitchen too much because I make a total mess. <laughs> I love you, baby. I promise you I do. All right. Well, this will render down some, and I will probably add just a little bit of water to this, not much, because you don't want to uh, ruin your flavor. I, I like mine about that consistency right there. Now that's, I don't know if that's what everybody likes, but hey, we're trying to do just a chili challenge with Southern Roots, and I told, I told my wife this morning, that's what I was doing. She said, you're gonna lose. <laughs> All right, guys, time for the official taste test. And I told y'all earlier, my wife don't like my chili, so I asked her, I said, would you like a bite? She said, nope. So we're gonna get just a smidge to put in here because I've gotta have enough, but not that I'm not gonna have enough. I gotta take this to church. Uh, I will also put a little cheese on top. Some people put a little sour cream on theirs, but I don't. But anyway, let's see how this stuff is. It's hot, I didn't promise you that. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. All right, Southern Roots. Chili challenge is on. All right, guys, just getting back in from our night at the church. Hey, hope you enjoy this chili cook-off deal. This is gonna be a fun thing to do with Southern Roots. Um, I don't know how we're gonna do. Maybe we'll do all right. Just depends, though. Hey, thank you for watching Munch Family Homestead. Remember, God loves you. Thank you for watching.